Hey guys, welcome back to another $5 Friday Night Knife. And today we have the Xeno Burn from Bud K. There is the model number. And uh, anyways, I apologize. I told you guys last weekend I was gonna get some more videos up. Didn't get it done. Uh, I was working on getting more progress done on that chicken coop right there. And made considerable progress. Got a few odds and ends to finish up. And this weekend I'm gonna be working on getting the run done. So, uh, you know, I will also, <laughs> I promise this weekend I will get more videos up. Um, and we also will do that giveaway I mentioned last week. So, today we have the Xeno Burn. So I have not opened this up. I do not know what is in it yet, but I know it was five bucks. Got this a couple months ago also. Uh, my big batch of $5 knives from Bud K. And we have a very black knife. So it looks like it's black on black on black on black. We do have a flipper and we have the thumb studs. Let's try the thumb studs. Ooh, yeah, comes right out. It is a frame lock and lock up is actually pretty decent. Um, very early, but also making full contact, which you can see right there. And pretty easy to disengage it is. It is spring-loaded, so the spring engages right about there. And I apologize for the dog barking. That's not my dog, it's neighbors. Um, just won't, won't stop barking, so yeah, that's fun. Um, <clears throat> do have a fairly deep carry pocket clip. Um, got that part of the knife sticking up out of your pocket, but not, that is not much. It is a cleaver style, and cleaver styles are still fairly popular it's been kind of dying down a little bit but uh i don't know there are folks that like the cleavers I, I i'm just not a big cleaver fan myself but um i know some of you guys out there are and more power to you uh it does say xeno burn on there um there is the model number and made in china of course with all the five dollar knives they are made in china uh let's look at the centering centering is uh, actually not too bad not too bad it might be shifted that way just a little bit but not enough to worry about nothing's making contact or anything um, a pocket clip it's actually decent retention on that but not too stiff so that's good it is a right hand carry tip up only you have no other options but that's pretty standard for frame lock knives you normally don't have a left to right uh, option so for lefties like me that's unfortunate but uh, you can make do so grip yeah you know it's it's very slick so when that when that gets wet that will be a problem but uh, dry it is comfortable and it does fit the hand well you do have a nice little curve here for your thumb and you do have some very very mild jimping up there it's very rounded so it does not hurt your finger and uh, you do have a scallop here for your first finger toil there which is nice and um, yeah I mean it it rockets right out of there and makes good contact good good lockup um, there is no skeletonization in there um, blade play let's see I don't feel anything left to right. Let's check up and down. No, nope, it's solid. I don't feel any blade play whatsoever. So that is pretty cool for five bucks. Um, you know, it's not hokey looking. And, you know, seems like a pretty solid little knife. Um, let's check that edge. Ooh, that feels sharp. Let's, let's check it out. We got, we got some paper. So let's get it. Let's get it. Ooh, man. Started with Bud K paper, magazine paper, but man, that is ridiculously sharp. Man, I like butter. Yeah, sweet. That is very, very sharp right out of the box. Yep. Works well on the printer paper as well. No problems. Well, that was my fault on that one. I mean, that is... That is sharp. Very, very sharp. 
So there you go. There's your ribbons. Very nice. Um, it is a mystery stainless. I don't think it says anywhere on the packaging what it is. So that's uh, pretty typical. So there you go. And I almost forgot. We have a $5 Friday night beer here. This is uh, from Jackie O. So this is a uh, an Ohio brewery. This is from Athens, Ohio. So I haven't tried this flavor before. Uh, Como Lunga, or <laughs> Como uh, Lungma. There we go. Whatever. Don't have to pronounce it to enjoy it, I guess. Uh, honey Nut Brown Ale. So let's let's try it out here. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can definitely taste the honey, and so it's uh, it's definitely an ale, and it. Um, you can definitely taste a little bit of hops, a lot of honey, and um, you know it's just a, a standard kind of brown ale. It's uh, it's got a good flavor to it, um, not too heavy, so good drinking beer, and uh, yeah, I like it. So, anyways, there you go. I don't have any relationship with any brewery, so if you see a beer on here, it's just something I decided to try. So, uh, I think. I think that's it. I think we've done the review. Um, before we close up here, I am going to just take you around the coop real quick. So if you're interested in seeing that, stay tuned. If not, just go ahead and shut it off and we will see you probably tomorrow. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good night. Okay guys, so here is the chicken coop I have been building. It's up off the ground. These are the laying boxes and I got some venting up here at the top. I still gotta put the corner trim on everything, but uh, you know, shaping up nice. This is the entry door, and you can open it up here, and there is the inside. I haven't finished the inside. I still got to make the partitions there for the laying boxes, and then that's uh, where they're going to roost up here, and then we will go on around to the back. We got a window right there, and then the other side is just the door, the chicken door. So I'm gonna make the run out this way. Um, probably gonna make it uh, 16 by eight or so and call it a day. Um, gotta put some uh, hardware cloth around the bottom so they can get under the coop while they're out in the run. And uh, yeah, got some scrap crap out here that I'll get rid of. But uh, anyways, that's what I've been working on guys. So. Again, apologize for the lack of videos last weekend, but I just got very interested in getting this thing wrapped up. The chickens are getting big quick, so I want to get them out here uh, as, as soon as possible, probably this weekend. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.